princess be a bad bitch. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. It's your girl Bad Tammy and I am back with a wig video as you guys can see. If you are new to my channel, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And most importantly, don't forget to turn your post notifications on so you get notified when I post a new video because they being watching Bad Tammy, baby, what is you doing? I just really wanted to come and say hey. Your girl is all done up and cute because I was looking a little rough. I will be showing you guys how I installed this wig on myself and if you want to see how I did that, make sure to stay tuned. So let's get into the video now. All right, y'all, so welcome to my channel. We're about to do this wig install, like I mentioned. And last video, I did the braid down with you guys, but this time I went ahead and did the braids already, so I have my braid down already. I just need to pin this up and we're gonna get started. But before we start all of that, I wanna mention that today's hair is provided by Chris Beauty Hair. So this is the box that the hair came in. So cute, it's given like Hermes. You open it up. I actually already took the wig out because I had got it customized, so I'll show you guys the wig i want to show you guys the little goodies you know they always send goodies they sent over this purple edge brush black comb elastic band for the wig you know they gotta come through with the wig cap and they also sent these like flexi rods so this is the wig originally it was a black 28 inch i believe wig but as you guys see i got it customized so it's like this dark money green so the hair definitely holds color well so i love that it's not all the way styled but it's already given cute i'm ready to install this i'm like nervous all over again and excited for this because i just feel like this is going to be beautiful i never tried like green on myself so with this wig actually it comes with new lace that chris hair is providing it is called the clear lace so they sent me over these two samples so i believe this is like the other like transparent lace that they have and most of the hair companies have and then this is their new clear lace as you guys see it's given more natural as into the other lace i feel like it's a little more visible than this one let me see if i can get scalp with this wig because from this sample the lace is definitely giving like what lace where is it at i'll make sure to have everything linked in my description box below and once again thank you to chris beauty hair for providing this wig so actually with this video i'm also going to be doing like an updated q a for you guys i posted on my instagram for you guys to ask me questions if the questions are dry then that's because of you guys because y'all tend to ask the same questions so i'm gonna try to keep them different try to answer different questions but that's what I'm going to do. Real quick, I'm going to go ahead and pin this up just so I can go ahead and put my cap on. And if you guys hear extra noise, that is um, Tizona, of course. So the first question that I see right here is actually, what is your plans for your B-Day? So my B-Day is coming up in like a week. And if I stop like mid questions, it's because I'm trying to, you know, concentrate. I still don't got this wig thing all down packed. I just be trying, y'all. Just be trying. So my birthday is coming up, like I was saying. And... I'm just gelling my edges all the way back. Gotta protect the edges. My birthday is in a week. I don't want to say too much because I think this is going to drop before it, but I am excited for that. Your girl is turning 24 years old. Growing older is so bittersweet. Um, I'm definitely doing something that I've been wanting to do forever. I think I mentioned it in my birthday vlog last year. Do you ever want to be anything else other than a YouTuber? love you and your sister so much thank you love you too and of course i see myself definitely being like a multi-business type of woman just because you guys know i do a little bit of everything one thing that i keep telling my sister and all about that i think we should go in business with is like open up a like shop like nail shop just like something different that we don't really see down here in our city so now that that is done i'm gonna go ahead and put my wig cap i'm not gonna try one of their wig caps that they sent me i did know i was gonna install this so i ordered this cap from i think it's called skin and i've seen this on tiktok i've been seeing a lot of hair videos on tiktok and they have said that this cap is supposed to make your um installs look a little better so i'm gonna try it out it comes with two but i see a lot of people say that stocking caps replacing like wig caps is a little better option this is kind of what it's giving me so 
So I'm going to go ahead and put this on. Alright, so this is the wig cap and it definitely gives a little more like I'll say invisible like how they were saying. So I'm going to go ahead and spray some got to be on the cap so just so it can stick and then I'm going to blow dry it. Um, let me ask another question. Best way to get rid of a hangover. I just be drinking water y'all. That's what that be when you got a hangover you just dehydrated. My thing be like, you know when you feel drunk. So when I feel drunk, I be making myself drink water before I go to bed. And then like, if I do wake up in the middle of the night, I make sure to drink water again. Talking about water, y'all look at this cute cup one you guys sent me. It says cool mom club. So make sure you guys drink y'all water. So I went ahead and sprayed that. Now I'm a blow dry it. So of course you guys not gonna be able to hear me. Alright y'all, so the cap is on there, so I'm going to go ahead and cut the extra cap off. I hate this part, it always makes my eyes watery. I have to look in my mirror, my little mirror right here. Let me ask a question while I do this. Where do you get your music for YouTube? I told you guys, SoundCloud, and I have a whole vlog where I explain it, so make sure you guys check that out. How's the house coming together, the kitchen, and everything? We still have little repairs here and there. The kitchen still isn't complete. I forgot to order one of the main bottom cabinets. Just waiting on that to be in stock. Y'all know how Ikea is with that. I don't know how I forgot to order that. And I forgot to cut my ears out. But once that cabinet comes in, we will pretty much get started with that. Because we already have, as far as everything else, the other materials, we already have that. I just forgot to order that last one. If I would have never made the mistake, we probably would already have that done. So I'm so excited for that. So right now I'm just trying to cut the little extra pieces. And I am very much trying to concentrate. Is it me or is it getting hot in here, boo? The pressure is getting what's up? I just been trying to perfect the cap a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and clean the like extra spray and all that with some alcohol how do you get along with cheese baby mother y'all that is none of my business that don't got nothing to do with me so i just don't get into it they got a child together not me him and her that baby mama drama is a whole different world and i don't got time for it so i believe now i'm gonna go ahead and put the glue y'all it's coming i'm getting nervous I'm using this Erica J Hold Me Down glue. I believe I bought this because I seen Tay promote this. Y'all know we all want our wigs to be looking like Tay did it. I think I'm gonna clean it up one more time. One more time. When does Tazana start school? Tazana starts school next year since she turned four this year. So she goes to school next year and I am so excited for that. She's been saying she don't want to go, but I know she's gonna like it. I can't believe y'all asked this. Did she have his first daughter before you or while he was with you? Like, be fucking for real. Alright, so I'm just applying the glue. I should have tried the wig on first. Ah, oh, it's too late. What is your biggest fear? Yo, I'm scared of the whole, like, leaving Earth situation. I don't even want to say a word. Like, I'm just scared of that. Like, when I get to thinking about it, I just be getting sad. Especially when I get to thinking about, like, the people around me. This glue draws fast as fuck. And I've seen a little tip, like, instead of pushing back, push forward. So that helps, like, the cap melt. I'm gonna give it a little minute and apply the second layer. But that's what I'm scared of and just like losing somebody real close to me. Which you guys know the only people around me really is my family. So I'm scared of that. So I don't even want to, I don't even want to keep talking about it because it just makes me like very emotional and sentimental. What do you do with all the decorations after your parties? If it's like big things, we keep them. But if it's like the balloons, of course we pop them. But then I keep like the leftover balloons we have in case we might use it for like the next party. But a lot of like the big things we pretty much keep. 
this question is dumb but just because it's coming up i'm gonna answer when is your birthday if you don't know my birthday is november 26th and your girl is a freaking sag best season best game we're coming up so i'm gonna go ahead and do the other glue i think i'm gonna do it by like i'm gonna do this side first maybe i just need to move fast yeah this is sticky as freak this is making me scared y'all what's your favorite drink like as far as what because my favorite i would say soda i love dr pepper and ginger ale but ginger ale is my top one and then as far as like i guess alcohol the only thing i really drink is honey and then i'm not really big on like mixing it but if i do have like a mixed drink i prefer doing it like with um the lemonade that we do or the margarita mix i prefer that better than like honey and coke how was high school for you high school was very bittersweet i hated high school when i was in it like i hated it i didn't like the school i was at i never been big on friends so i didn't really have friends i was always like well known and people would speak to me of course but as far as like friends or really hanging out with people i wasn't you know how like people hang out after school or stuff like that i didn't used to do none of that i did have a friend though but of course y'all know how that goes we ended up falling out and it's crazy we ended up falling out like our senior year and i had known her actually since freaking middle school we went to the same middle school together like i've always been a school girl but i knew i wasn't gonna be able to go to like college just because of like life situations and then like um financial things so i really stopped caring about like the educational part of it i just used to you know get my work done not really be in a way but then like when i look back now i feel like it was like fun like the things I was doing, I would guess, I would say after school hours, it was fun. So this is like real sticky now. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this thing on, which I'm kind of scared because I feel like I need like a big mirror to put this on. All right, y'all, so sorry if y'all can't really see, but I'm trying to see what I can do. Cause if I bring it down right here, like if I leave it up here, let me show you guys. It's like, you can see my my wig cap but i'd hate hate when people be having their wigs all the way down i already have a small forehead so that's what i'm trying to avoid oh my god that's what i forgot to do oh my god oh my god i'm so freaking dumb well, i forgot to add makeup oh i wish i didn't mess it up uh i'm going ahead and add some makeup y'all I hope the glue is not gonna mess it up. I might have to do another layer of glue just because I forgot this. Why didn't y'all tell me? That's why I look like crazy. Crazy again. And I'm just using my Fenty Beauty foundation that I use. This, this, I cannot this. believe I forgot that. Yes. That's you how did. you know I'm a rookie. You're not a rookie, you are a rabbit. <laughs> Girl. Girl, bye. Oh my god, I already know this is freaking effed up. I'm gonna just put a little bit more glue right here. I just messed it up because I can see where it looks crazy right here. I'm so annoyed already. Then I'm like, you can see the freaking lace looking light as free, but I ain't put no makeup on it. Wow, wow, wow. I don't even want to ask questions anymore. Somebody said favorite wig you ever did um do you guys think i should put some makeup on the lace right here ain't that what they be doing okay i'm gonna add a little bit i think my favorite wig that i had would be i love the ginger one that i did but i also like the pink one all right so let me go ahead and put this on y'all because i'm just playing and overthinking it if it look crazy, I'm still learning. I'm sorry if I'm not looking in the camera just yet. I'm just trying to. Seeing people do that, they be like holding it and pressing back. I did love the pink bob that I got as well. All right, y'all, let me try to put this and then I'm going to come back because I cannot mess this up. 
All right, y'all, so I put it on. I honestly think I like messed it up, but I'm gonna go ahead and put this thing on the lace just so it can try to melt. I'm gonna tie this on the lace and let it sit for a few. And usually my stylist be doing this stuff tight. So I'm gonna try to do it as tight as I can. And then I'm gonna go ahead and like straighten the hair. As you guys can see, it's not all the way straightened. All right, so that's on there. This I know I did it wrong cause she had did the light line, but it's not even on there straight. Girl, I'm so over this. Y'all, I just want to like scream and cry, but I'm just trust. I'm just trust the process, and I'm gonna keep. I'm gonna stop talking. Negative. I'm gonna stop talking negative. I'm gonna say it's gonna look good. This is my fly iron that I got. This color is definitely pretty though. Mom, Can't I like your hair, Tommy. Thank you. Can't deny that. This is cute. I feel like this is gonna take a minute to straighten. So I don't believe you and the bestest don't have any brothers. Do y'all wish? Y'all did. Hell no. I'm glad we don't got any brothers. Boys are so annoying and they do too much. Especially because y'all know we're like Hispanic. Hispanics always go through that phase where they think they're like gangbangers. And that right there would have pissed me off. I'm just glad we don't have to deal with that. And then also my mom. I already know she was gonna be stressing and then I hate like the brothers that be trying to act like they your dad You need to calm down every time I've seen like brothers act like that towards girls that I know like, Ew, are you going to do a Christmas decor vlog? Most likely I will What's your life motto? My life motto is to not care really Like not care about things that you cannot change and like little things that don't even need to be cared for i feel like i saved myself a lot of like hassle a lot of like heart feelings and just a lot of things in general by just simply not caring i hate when people be stuck or like make a big deal out of things that is not even going to matter years from now or don't even matter in real life a lot of people be like pressed and have issues from social media so it's like why well, don't care about something that's not even in real life i kind of like the yolo model as well like you only live once do you ever plan on moving out of winston yes 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 a hundred times yes it's just like we say we want to move when it comes to that i feel like my mom is the one that's going to give us a hard time but then it's just like i can't really be mad at her because it's like winston salem is all she knows all her family is in winston like everybody she knows is in winston so it's just like she's not gonna want to leave that behind and then i'm just like i know i wouldn't want to leave my mom behind and i definitely know my sisters are not gonna try to like leave winston and not bring our mom with us so i feel like she's kind of the one that's gonna like give us a hard time about that because we've spoke about it before and she just like always says like you know that she doesn't want to leave here so I don't know. I, we definitely want to move though, but it's just like it's easier said than done, to be honest. Set the tone. Well, it's just me. So I'm kind of done with this side. My sister had called me, so I was just talking to her. And I don't see any good questions anyway. Here goes one. Do you have or are you open to mommy friends? I'm very much open to it just because y'all know my baby is very friendly and she loves friends. But then when you start to cancel and doing all that, that right there pisses me off. So I just stay away from it. This how it looks straight. I'll probably try to restrain a little better. But this definitely looks better than this so this is like before this is all straightened out 
Y'all, this hair is so thick, so thick. I forgot the density of this. If it doesn't come out like me liking all the way, I'm definitely gonna have to get this reinstalled by my stylist because this is just too cute. And the hair, like I said, is just thick. I cannot not get this done the right way. What is your favorite thing to do with your daughter? I like when we just go out and run errands, to be honest. So it's kind of like shopping, I would say. Recently, she's been wanting me to do um, pancakes for her every morning. And she did just get over like catching the flu. So I've been trying to make sure she eats in the morning. So when she was like sick, she kept asking me for pancake. If kids are sick, they lose their appetite. I just was like, let me try to make some pancakes with her to make her feel better and then ever since she's just like been asking me to do pancakes so i've been loving like us making pancakes in the morning i just feel like it's our thing now i'm not even like a pancake girl i'm a waffle girl and because i couldn't even make pancakes and then i just learned and i've been making her like these cute mini pancakes it's just a vibe so i've been loving that and i don't even like like her helping me cook because she always makes a mess but pancakes y'all know that's easy just making the mix so she loves mixing it up she likes cracking the eggs so I've just been loving that so I would definitely say like us shopping and then making our little pancakes in the morning I might probably answer like five more questions and then come back when I'm done straightening this side because it's just like the same and I feel like I'll get it done faster if I'm not like on camera how do you deal with disappointment I would say how to deal with disappointment is I would say just not expecting anything from people if you're not expecting nothing then what are you gonna be disappointed for or about? You get what I'm saying? When you start expecting and you feel like you need to be getting this type of treatment or you needed this to get done, that's where the disappointment starts because you're expecting it. That's just how I see it. That's why I'm more so like of a hands-on, I'ma do it myself type of person, period. So in my mind, I already have said that I'm gonna do it myself. When I have been disappointed, I just like, you know, I'll be mad about it and then I'll just be like, oh well, like I'll just brush it off. I just feel like I have like a brush off type of attitude mindset. What triggers you to cry? Crazy thing, I feel like when I'm the mad, when I'm mad, triggers me to cry more than like when I'm actually sad. I think I will cry faster when I'm mad than if I'm sad. So I think like if I'm like real, real, real mad, I'll just start crying just because I feel like I can't express or hold in like all that anger, which is very rare. And then just like when I start thinking about like life, I think that makes me just cry and get in my feelings. If it's not the alcohol, then I would say those are the few things that do make me cry. Somebody say, what is your definition of cheating? I just feel like anything you wouldn't want me or be okay with me doing and you're doing it, then that's considered cheating. That would be my definition. Like, you wouldn't want me talking to a guy or having a guy friend. Um, you wouldn't want me go chilling with other guys. You wouldn't want me to text other guys, go grab a drink with a guy or just things like that. Um, you wouldn't want me to sneakily be talking to somebody. Aside from, like, y'all know the basic stuff, like having sexual intercourse with people and, you know, all that flirt and stuff feel like that's basic like of course that's cheating anything sneakily anything you wouldn't want me to do and you do it then that's considered cheating I said what show can you watch forever and I get tired of it oh my god I wish they like never ended vampire diaries like that was my favorite show ever and I've watched it like twice already I should watch it again you do not even like it Tazana and Chi used to hate that show. But I did used to have like little nightmares. Get like when it used to be like on a crazy episode. If you haven't watched Vampire Diaries, I definitely recommend to go watch it. It's one of my faves. And they have um you have to watch Vampire Diaries first, then you have to watch the originals, and then you have to watch um I forgot the name of the other one. And it's a very long series actually. It's very long. I love it. And, um, oh, it reminds me of Grey's Anatomy. I love, love, love Grey's Anatomy as well. I've watched that several times. Which, that reminded me. I need to um catch up on that. Do you think Nana should be next to have a baby? No, Nana don't need a baby. Nana don't need a baby. Tazan said no, but um, I don't know, y'all. I feel like having a baby is a big responsibility. And I feel like if I could go back in time, I would have definitely waited. Back in the day, I always used to say 
I wanted to have my first child when I was 23. So she's already kind of like around that age. So it's like yes and no because I feel like it's just so big. And like the way that Nana is about her sleep, I just feel like she's not gonna be able to hang. But then it's just like, we're all getting older. But then it's just like, we need to add more members to the family. So I would say like yes and no at the same time. I think I've answered this question before and I didn't want to answer questions I've already answered but just in case I haven't there was like what's your thoughts on marriage um I don't really care for it I never been that type of girls that dream like of their wedding and are just like pressed to get married but I just feel like if it happens it happens and if it doesn't like I'm not gonna cry about it like my parents are married and they are separated now like you know, I feel like it doesn't matter. If you lot then ain't no switching up. So I just feel like a piece of paper it doesn't really determine the love between somebody. But I just feel like if you, I would say more on the religious side and you just want to bring God into it, then, you know, just do what makes you happy. But me personally, I just don't care. Like, I'm not going to do it just to do it and be like, oh, I got married. Because now we getting God involved. I'm in the middle. Like, if it happens, it happens. If it doesn't, then oh, freaking well. How are you mentally? Um, long story short, I would just say I am fine. I am doing much better now. I feel like this year I definitely had, like, my most off days. But, you know, just got to keep going and realize, like, you know, what I want out of life. And bad days don't last forever. I would just say I'm definitely better now and i want to keep being on this like good energy you know good mentality good vibes the rest of the year like you know end the year in like a good mental around this time i feel like i just always get like more happy but then again i feel like i do feel like drained so i want to not over you know over pack or over schedule myself just because i need to make sure that i am good so then I can be good for others. So definitely thank you for asking that. Not for asking. All right, so let me finish this up and then I'm gonna come back. Even though I pretty much already put iron <laughs> it on camera. All right, so this is the hair all straightened out. So cute. I feel like you can definitely see the color a little better now. So I'm gonna take it off and then I'm gonna go see in a mirror because I need to see what it's giving. All right, y'all, so this is what it looks like. This is kind of the issue, the same thing I had with my other lace. It's kind of like wrinkled. And I tried to fix the line in the middle. But it kind of looks like it was bleached too much. So I don't know how I'm going to fix that. It definitely needs to be a little flatter. But for now, we're just going to put this on here so I can cut the lace. And I was going to try to um, do some edges with this one. Because with my first wig that I did, I ain't do edges. Because I was trying to take the easy way out. But I'm going to try to do some with this one. I need a little scrunchie. So let me, let me put this little scrunchie on. How do these gals, how do y'all be laying this wig on so effortlessly? I'm about to go ahead and start cutting. Woo! Ciao! I definitely need a better setup because I feel like I don't really be looking in the camera. But it's like I can't look in the camera because then I'm not gonna see what I'm doing. I got some shitty fucking scissors. Alright, so I'll be seeing don't cut like straight. So I'm just gonna try to do like a little zig 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 ziggity. A little zigzag. I need to give me some hair scissors. I think I'm a little more scared for the edges. I think what messed it up for me was the fact that I forgot to add the makeup before. Okay, it's not looking so bad, y'all. I just got to clean it up. Look. You can just see, like, the extra glue right there. But it's giving, like, 
scalp. Okay, let me keep going. Let me not get too excited. I should clean it up first and then try to do the edges. All right, so this this looks like so far. But I don't know if you guys can see like the gel parts that I'm talking about. But hopefully, hopefully the edges that I try to do cover that. She usually does two right here and then two on like the side burn ones. Like this, my screen. <laughs> I have like my screen right here of a whole bunch of pictures of me. So I guess I'm gonna do it right here where it looks like a little thin app. Maybe I'll just take it out. Let me move that out the way. Hopefully the edges cover all that because it's looking a little crazy right now. here okay so right there all right y'all so i went ahead and took out what i wanted to be the edges or whatever i'm about to go ahead i guess and just cut the baby hairs i'm gonna try to leave them a little long just in case i think they be cutting it like this way uh, so it's not going back after this because it is cut i think that's a little too long the same way okay so it just cut and i do have the little iron i'll be seeing they be curling it or whatnot so i'm going to do that okay and then curl the edge say that's not I do think mines are a little long, but we can cut that, I guess, once I get to actually swooping them. First, it's nice time. Curl it in. Works. I need to go ahead and plug up my, um, hot comb to make this a little more laid but yeah my sister um nana bought me this hot comb so freaking cute it's pink bedazzled um she got it from kendra's boutique for me i don't know if you guys remember my last wig video i had said i didn't i didn't think the hot comb was given so she had bought me this one and kendra's pretty popular for her hairline so let's see what it gives i barely know what i'm doing anyways so i'm about to plug this up so i'm about to go ahead and do the edges so then I can, I guess, put the band back on. And I just got some extreme gel. It's covering the spot right there, though. Just gotta lay them down a little bit more. So I'm gonna go, I'm gonna do these off camera. And then I'm gonna show you guys when I put the band and get to like, um, hot coming in at the top all right y'all so this is the best that i could get the edges i'm about to go ahead and put this back on so i'm gonna put a little bit of this here of the wax sorry it's a mirror back here so i can pass the hot comb i'll be scared of the hot comb y'all which is up here i think i need to turn it up some more it's on 355 so add a little bit of wax, get the hot comb, hot comb that bit. So we're gonna do that all the way to the top on both sides.
love y'all so i'm done doing all that and i kind of did pass the hot comb on the hair like if i was straightening it and it definitely laid it some more so that's what that looks like i'm about to go ahead and take this off so we can see final product of the hair hopefully it looks better but this is what the hair is given with the edges as you guys seen this is what this side looks like and then this is the hair all put together i hope the lighting is really giving i love i'm loving the inches y'all know i love me a good buzz down in the middle y'all know straight hair is my fave go-to so i don't think you guys can really see like how long this is but it's very long y'all like very very long but it is 28 inches i believe so it's giving the inches is giving baby so i really love this so just a little more close-up of the hair cute 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 so make sure you guys go check chris beauty hair out and make sure you guys are shopping from their new clear lace collection which is this one as you guys see it's giving skin it's giving melting so i really love this hair y'all i'm obsessed with it i hope that answered a good amount of questions because i did think i got a little distracted towards the end because i was getting a little nervous of how it was gonna turn out but i really love it so i hope you guys got a little updated q a and all the links you guys need to this hair will be in my description box below you guys know the rest if i have a discount code i'll make sure to link it i wanted to go ahead and say thank you guys for watching i hope you guys enjoyed this video um let me know if you guys would like more hair videos would you guys like to keep seeing me attempt um wig installs or what other hair videos you guys would like to see from me um also don't forget to subscribe to your girl make sure your post notifications are on for your girl and i will pretty much see you guys in my next video so bye One more last time for the hair. Bye.